YouTube. So I'd had a couple people ask about my potato salad recipe, so I thought I'd do a quick video. Um, this is just a mayo-based uh, potato salad recipe. We have different ones depending on who we're cooking for, but this one is just mayo. It doesn't have any mustard in it. So in my pan over here, I am boiling. I only use the Golden Yukon, the yellow potatoes. Um, I went ahead and chopped them up. Typically, I will boil them in their jackets in salt water, but we are hungry and I didn't have, we didn't have a lot of time and everybody's wanting to eat. So I went ahead and diced these up. They're just boiling until done in some salt water, which they're about finished. So I'm gonna turn those off and then I'll run cold water on those. I have my onion chopped. So I'm just making potato salad for about three people. So what I do when I chop my onion, and this saves time, I don't get out a cutting board. I don't make a huge mess. I just try to do as easy and simple as I can. So I take my onion and I cut a checkerboard like across in little thin strips. And then I turn my onion and go across again. And then when I cut it, I just go around and you can see how tiny the pieces are. I just feel like this, I, maybe I'm challenged at chopping if I uh, cut an onion on a cutting board, but the pieces just are huge and I don't like huge pieces. I love onion, but I prefer these little pieces. So what I'll do is I know I'm not using this whole onion, so I've cut them the checkerboard size, and I have around half to three quarters of a cup of onion. And that's probably all I'm gonna put in there. I go ahead and try to finish. I don't cut my onion all the way through. I just, when I cut down, so I have about this much of my onion, I will put in a Ziploc bag. If we wanna chop it for another recipe, I'll continue to do that. Or if we want it sliced for sandwiches, I can just flip it over. And then I haven't cut all the way through. So here's my onion, my potatoes are about done. I'm going to mix up my mayo for you and then I'll be back. I use a coffee cup, which I know might sound a little crazy. I just, I like mixing um, in a coffee cup. It, I don't have a measuring cup. Um, well, I do, but I don't know. So this lets me kind of see how much mayo I have. I can judge pretty well. So I put my mayo in here. For this recipe, like I said, no mustard. I just use Hellman's Real Mayo. I do put sugar, garlic salt, um, I do put a little garlic powder, black pepper, celery salt, and then a little bit of the sugar. So I'll mix that up and we'll be back. So I drained my potatoes. Again, I do do a long method for potato salad, which my preferred method is to boil the potatoes with their jackets on even the night before and let them get completely cold. That's my favorite way of doing potato salad. But when you're hungry, this method takes like 15 or 20 minutes. So I boiled the potatoes, salted, already chopped up, cut up. And in the bottom of the bowl is the onion and some parsley. And then here's what I was telling you. I just use a mug. I like using a mug. In here, I have mayo. Again, just eyeballing it. I don't really measure. I have sugar in here, probably three or four tablespoons. I don't know if you've had this type of potato salad, but when we go places, everybody always wants the recipe and it just doesn't have mustard. I mean, we love mustard. This is just, like I said, a different version. So on the top, when I mixed it up, I had my celery salt, garlic salt, garlic powder, black pepper, and I think that's it, and the sugar. So I just mix it up and then taste it and it is exactly like we like it and I'm going to grab my and then I just put it on top of the potatoes of course you can do different variations and put your if you want boiled eggs in here celery whatever you like in your potato salad you know if I'm going to a huge barbecue we do like you know the huge fancy version but again, 15 or 20 minutes and we have potato salad. So I just mix it up with the mayo and a little bit of parsley. My grandmother, this was always her recipe and she passed away. It was kind of a funny story. She always had this yellow, it was the old Tupperware. It was a huge insulated yellow Tupperware bowl with a lid 
and she brought it to all the functions with the potato salad in it. And we always, when she passed away, I know it sounds crazy, but everybody wanted the yellow bowl. It was like, I don't know, the potato salad in the yellow bowl was the best potato salad. So we got the potato salad, the yellow bowl, and it never tasted the same because we were all doing a mustard recipe. And then we found out when um, I actually got her cookbooks and I went through it and her recipe was in there and her potato salad did not have mustard at all. So this is the yellow bowl potato salad. So I'm gonna try it and see. Now good. So try it out. Thanks.